when OnePlus revealed the OnePlus 11, they also revealed this, the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. The reason why I delayed this reveal until now is because I'm worried about one thing in particular, the price. Officially in the US, it is 180 US dollars and I think that is rather high. But then again, there is a lot of good features packed into this pair of earbuds that can actually justify the price. So let's talk about it. The OnePlus Buds Pro 2 is actually very simple in terms of design. Ours comes in the arbor green color and the design looks like a square pebble. We can see that there's also a Dyne Audio branding as well because they have collaborated with them to create this product. The back here also has a USB Type-C port for charging but unlike many other earbuds in the market, you can also use wireless charging to charge it. The lid opens up and swings far to the back and that makes it very easy to take out the earbuds. Here we can once again see the Dyne Audio branding. The earbuds themselves are fairly simple in terms of design as well. It uses an in-ear design and with a stem sticking out. So it does look like a, I don't know, pea shooter from Plants vs Zombies. Anyway, instead of using touch controls on the earbuds, it uses pinches instead. This is something that I particularly prefer over touching because I always just keep touching my ear by accident and then trigger something to happen on my phone which I find it to be annoying so pinches is like the next best compromise. Then the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 also has a rather fancy non-conventional ear tip design and this whole thing is made out of a very soft silicone and it does have a mesh inside as well to prevent some earwax from falling in directly into the TWS which is good. OnePlus also included a few different sizes of ear tips inside the box here so you can choose it to whatever size you want. Looking further at the earbuds themselves, we also have a microphone pointing downwards so it should sound better when you're speaking into it. So here's a quick microphone test for you. Here's a very quick test of the microphones on the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 and I have to do this on the MacBook Pro because for whatever reason the recorder app built inside the OnePlus 11 does not work with external microphones. So yeah, this is the next best thing that I can do. So do let me know how it sounds down in the comment section below. Let's talk about features now then. The OnePlus Buds Pro 2 uses the Google Fast Pairing service. So when you unbox the earbuds, the phone will automatically tell you that there's something nearby waiting for you to pair it with. Just tap that one button and then it will pair automatically. To configure the features of these earbuds, you have to head into the settings menu. Yes, for the OnePlus 11, everything is integrated into Oxygen OS firmware. And I also tried pairing the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 with the OnePlus 10T. The features were not there. I think this should be available via a future software update, I suppose. Either way, if you want to use the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 with other phones, you can. Just install the Hey Melody app in the Google Play Store. And here I must highlight that there are some features missing if you are taking this route. For example, spatial audio and also the LHDC codec are missing. On the OnePlus 11, we do have two codecs to select from, starting with the LHDC by default, also known as low latency, high definition audio codec. And we can also change it to the standard SVC if we want to for compatibility purposes. Within the functions menu, we have a lot of the usual options here, so noise control, EQ, all of that stuff. You can also create your own EQ if you want to, but now, if you want to do something special with them, then there is a feature called Golden Sound which is similar to Creative's wireless earbuds where they take a picture of your ear to help you configure the sound to make it sound better for your ears. However, instead of using a camera to scan your ear, OnePlus uses something like a sauna. So you just go through it step by step and then you can create your own sound profile that is perfect for your ears. Then we also have the spatial audio feature, which I think it works really well here as well. However, it kind of depends on what music that you're listening to. For me, Big Band Jazz, it's a big difference. As for the Zen Mode Air, it just plays some white noise to help you relax. However, there is only one soundscape for us to choose from as of now, which is warm sunrise with a lot of birds chirping and whatnot. I really do wish that they add more soundscapes, like maybe rain or maybe jingle bells. We can also change the gestures when we squeeze the earbuds stem. Three gestures in total for each earbuds, totaling them to six actions. Pretty comprehensive actually. Then one of my favorite features is the dual connection mode. 
I paired the earbuds with the OnePlus 11 and also with my MacBook Pro and it works really well. I can just mute everything on the laptop and then immediately continue playing music on the phone and the handover between the two connections is just seamless. There is another important feature here which is the earbuds fit test. It just tells you that if you're getting a good seal around the ear or not and that's it. And this is very important if you want to get good ANC out of this pair of earbuds. So how does it actually sound? Honestly, I think it sounds really good. Using the default EQ, it is slightly leaning towards the bass side but overall the sound is really good. My Big Band Jazz sounds amazing and I'm just loving it so far. The ANC is also surprisingly clean as there is no weird hissing sound. And I remember that I wore this pair of earbuds during the Lunar New Year because everyone was carpet bombing in the sky and this pair of earbuds managed to cancel most of the sound away. I'm truly impressed and you can also select how much ANC you want but I personally just leave it in the smart mode. The transparency mode is also fairly decent, there's nothing much to talk about it here since I can hear everyone else and that's all that matters. Though I would prefer it if it can automatically jump to transparency mode when I'm speaking to someone. That would be a huge benefit convenience to the users. I also discovered one thing, the audio latency between the OnePlus 11 and the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 is very good. This is one of the rare earbuds that is using the new Bluetooth 5.3 standards and with it comes truly low latency audio and also good quality audio at the same time. Partly thanks to the LHDC2, I played COD Mobile with no atrocious audio delay. Firing a gun means that the sound is in sync with the muzzle flash or at least so close to the point that I can't distinguish the audio delay, which is just truly amazing. I enjoyed every bit of my gaming time using the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 with the OnePlus 11. And by the way, since I also use the dual connection mode and pair this pair of earbuds with the MacBook Pro, I can actually edit a video using these earbuds as well. There is no audio latency with the laptop, surprisingly. I don't know how they do it, but yeah, just no audio delay. I also tried pairing the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 with the OnePlus 10T, and fortunately, we do have the same low latency as well, but the audio quality I don't know why it just became quite bad. Actually pairing the Buds Pro 2 with any phones other than the OnePlus 11 just sounds bad overall. So for the price of 180 US dollars or in Malaysia 869 ringgit, I still think that this is a very expensive pair of wireless earbuds. But there are some features that make it justifiable. That is especially true when we pair it with the OnePlus 11, we can truly get low latency wireless audio with good quality and we can also play shooter games with it without issues and that's a huge boon. Overall, I would say that if you're using the OnePlus 11 and you want a truly good pair of wireless earbuds, then this is a good option. For everyone else that is not using the OnePlus 11, yeah, this is a very tough choice to pick. So that's it. If you have any questions regarding the OnePlus Buds Pro 2, do leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.